Iowa River is located on the very northeast corner of Iowa. I chose to paddle the stretch from Kendallville to Bluffton and then added on a stretch to Malinafi Springs. This makes for about 26 miles and plan on it taking a full day. The takeout at Malinafi Springs is fine, uh, but it's a steep mud bank and the parking lot was pretty small and crowded. If I were to do it again, I would go downstream to the next takeout. It looked much better. With clear spring fed waters, riffles, and cliffs, this stream is the premier paddling river in our state. You're about to see why. This trip, holy cow. I feel like I've been waiting 10 years to finally make it up here and it's like all the stars have to align to finally get here. And now that I'm here, oh, it's so great. The water's crystal clear, there's good flow. There was no one else parked at the drop-in point. It's a Monday morning, so it should be pretty tame. Oh, it's gonna be a good float. Fish are jumping, birds are everywhere. It's a bald eagle cruising by already. There he goes. Even in this slow moving stretch, we're still moving pretty good. Probably going four or five miles an hour. Nice sandy bottom. Looks like it's only two to three feet deep. Yeah, this, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This flow is amazing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the W14 bridge, which means we're just past mile three. How cool is that?
chunks of rock falling off as I'm paddling by. These old cedars, those are so cool. Coldwater Creek Road. Pretty sure that's a pileated woodpecker. The geology nerd in me thinks this is cool all the time, like it never gets old. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the island around mile five. And I can't remember what the book said and which path to take, but it looks like there's more water going that way, so. I'm gonna head right. Both actually look runnable. That one, river left, just looks like it's got a tighter turn. Man, this stretch is beautiful. You can see why it's so popular. I think this is big spring. The amount of water flowing out of here is incredible. About knocks you off your feet actually when you walk by it.
That was really cool. Yeah, I saw a bunch of little dinky ones on the way up here, but I wasn't expecting it to be like that when it said big spring. That was, that was awesome. That was a good one. This is amazing. Oh, this is so crazy. Look at that. This is the most beautiful stretches I've ever paddled in my entire life right here. Can you believe that? This is nuts, we're in Iowa. ran into a big boulder there. Look at that limestone pillar. Man, that's beautiful.
lights just keep going and going and going. And they are stunning. I, I don't even know what to say. This is this is the coolest thing I've seen in our state. Like I, I have no words. That was hands down the most beautiful stretch of river that I think I've ever seen. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if there's many stretches of river in the whole nation that can come close to that. Like seriously, that is spectacular. That is so cool. And it just goes on and on. That, oh my gosh. That was, that was, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. It was the coolest thing. Coolest stretch of river I've ever paddled in my life. Okay, this is the 244th Avenue Bridge. Pretty sweet, actually.
a fun stretch of riffles. Any lower, I would have been bashing into some big rocks. But this flow is just right to cruise over top of them, at least in this boat. That's a, that is a death trap there if I ever saw one. Holy cow. This is crazy. 